Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to teach you about exterior angles. Exterior angles are all the angles that are on the outside, the exterior of a triangle. All three of these are interior, and I'm going to show you one fact about this exterior angle. So hold on to your... So, here it is. We have these interior angles, and what's the deal with this exterior angle? You've seen me do this before, uh, so I'm going to show you some magic again. Uh, the same, uh, same strategy. I'm ripping off a angles A and B. Okay, so these were formerly here. These interior angles. I'm going to leave that angle C because here's the question mark. What's the deal with this question mark? Now, everyone, look closely. Here's a question mark. What's up with this angle right here? Um, so I'm going to put angle A here and I'm going to put angle B here. What? Look at that. It covers up the entire question mark. So we know that this in exterior angle are these two interior angles added together. So uh, let me let me rewind that again. So here's that exterior angle. What do we know about that exterior angle? Well, we know that it's supplementary to C to angle C because it would make a straight line like that. And it also is the sum of A plus B. So if we wanted to know the measure of that exterior angle, we just take these two angles, add them up, and we'd have the measure of this angle right here because those angles cover it completely. So, look at that. Here's the exterior angles theorem. Exterior angles theorem is, so please put this in your notes. Uh, everyone draw a triangle with its interior angles and let's just call this A, B, and C. And let's extend that line right there. I should have used a ruler, but oh well, too late. Uh, and this is our exterior angle. What's the exterior angle? It is question mark is equal to the sum of angle A plus angle B. And that's it, exterior angles theorem. This plus this adds up to this exterior angles. Let me show you a couple examples. So here is example number one okay without the exterior angles theorem you would have done this you would have said okay you would have added 40 plus 25 and then so 40 plus 25 would have been 65 and then you would subtract that from 180 degrees 180 minus 65 is 115 and then you would have noticed that this angle and this angle are supplementary so you would have subtracted 180 minus 115 and you would have gotten 65 wait a minute that's an extra step so right here I'm trying to save you guys some time because time is precious you want to go and do some stuff like I don't know waste time but you don't want to waste time with your math you just want to get the correct answer so the shortcut is using the exterior angles theorem it's just this interior angle plus this interior angle 25 plus 40 is equal to 65 what a coincidence and this is your final answer 65 degrees so these two interior angles add up to the one exterior angle right there so I saved you guys some time you didn't have to do this and subtract from 180 uh, here is example number two. Okay. So let's look at this one right here. This one, it's a little, it's structured a little differently, but it's the exact same concept. This time, we have the exterior angle, but we want to find this interior angle. Uh, normally, I know what you're thinking. You would subtract from 180 to get this, and then you would uh, then subtract from 180 to get this. Okay, that's one way. There's always different, 
there's a lot of times there's different ways, but let's just do this. We know that the two non-adjacent interior angles, so these two angles that aren't next to this angle, these two angles add up to the exterior angle. So let's set it up that way. So question mark plus 94. So these two angles, if we rip these angles off, they would fit perfectly right there to the 124 degrees. So question mark plus 94 is equal to 124. And then you subtract 94 from both sides. 124 minus 94 question mark is equal to 30 degrees. That is it. Now let's just double check my mental math 124 minus 94, 30 degrees. So there you go. Save some time. Uh, and, and so that's just an alternative way of doing it instead of subtracting 124 from 180 to get this angle and then adding these two and then subtract from 180 to get this. You just add these two, set it equal to its exterior angle. All right. Example number three out of four examples. So pretty easy, huh? The two interior angles, the two non-adjacent interior angles are equal to the exterior angle right there. And this one we have no other choice because we have no information about this angle so we can't do the whole 180 supplementary thing. The only choice we can take is exterior angles theorem. 70 plus 80x is equal to 23x minus 5. And then we'll just do some math. We'll do some algebra. So we'll subtract 8x from both sides. And let's add 5 on both sides. 70 plus 5 is 75 is equal to 7x. Is that right? Let's see. My mental math isn't working right now. 23 minus 8. Ah, is 15. What in the world? 7. Good thing I have my trusty calculator. Um, so, and then we'll divide by 15 on both sides. 75 divided by 15 is 5. So x is equal to 5. There we go, exterior angles theorem, easy peasy. You take the two non-interior angles or non-adjacent interior angles, add them together, and set it equal to the exterior angle. And then do your math. All right, so last example. <clears throat> Find the measure of angle D, E, C. So let's actually, Let's highlight what angle DEC is. So let's connect the dots from angle D to E to C. So we're trying to find the measure of this angle. And so in order to find the measure of this angle, we need X. In order to find X, we need to use the exterior angles theorem. We have two interior angles and we have the exterior angle right there. So let's set it up. 6X minus 10 plus 4X the two non-adjacent interior angles add up to equal the exterior angle, 110. Let's combine like terms. 6x plus 4x is 10x. Minus 10 is equal to 110. We'll add 10 to both sides. We have 10x is equal to 120. And the last step, we'll divide 10 on both sides x is equal to 12. Don't highlight that. That's not your final answer. Don't box it. Don't say, okay, I'm going to type it in and this is my final answer. No, because remember, what are we trying to find? Not x. The measure of angle D, E, C. So let's plug that 12 back into here. So 6 times 12 minus 10. 6 times 12 is 72 minus 10 is... 62 degrees and that is our final answer but again I didn't get much sleep last night so I'm not too confident about my mental math that's why it's important to get sleep people make sure you get some sleep so 6 times 12 you have more confidence when you get more sleep minus 10 
It's 62. I shouldn't have doubted myself. Even when I'm sleepy, most of the time, my mental math is all right. But still, don't do math when you're sleepy. All right, so that's it. That is the exterior angles theorem. Hope that helps. Hope that helps you get A's. Hope that helps you in life. Have a great day.